Good morning, this is the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing from Monday, July 29th. Satellite imagery continues to show a lot of smoke across the region except for the far southern portions of the Great Basin. We do have enhanced clouds over Idaho right now. It could produce some isolated convection towards Montana border later today, but a stronger system. See this curvature pushing into the Pacific Northwest. This will be a thunderstorm maker either late this evening or overnight tonight into tomorrow across parts of the central Idaho mountains. And we'll see that in the impact map where those storms probably move in overnight after dark, otherwise breezy conditions with lower humidity. It'll be sometime between uh, midnight and noon tomorrow we'll, where we will see the brunt of these thunderstorms. Now they'll have low end wetting rains, uh, but they'll also be followed by some winds. We'll have to watch that. The humidity though will come up a little bit, which is good news. None of that further south continued breezy with dry humidity and just seasonably warm temperatures on Wednesday. Uh, not much uh, precipitation or lightning last 24 hours. Initial attack fairly light for a change. And looking at the last seven days, uh, excluding yesterday, um, some wetting rains in parts where you see the darker green and then otherwise where the lighter blue shades are spotty if minimal precipitation. The flash drought index over the past two weeks has shown a significant moistening over parts of Nevada and Utah and the Arizona Strip and an overall trend towards drying over several weeks over the central Idaho mountains, although in the short term, that'll be mitigated a little bit. And this shows uh, conditions a little bit better. The ERC point map where things have moistened up in the green, where things still remain fairly critically dry in that reddish 90% area. You see that also in the Uinta Basin and parts of the Sierra Front. 100-hour fuels, the dark gold is uh, upper single digits. Those are the driest areas. Uh, the finer fuels, the 10-hour fuels, most readily available in the south where they, they will have that single-digit humidity along with those winds. Now for today, we have high risk for those winds, uh, of course, parts of uh, Idaho and going into uh, Utah and even the Sierra Front. That's this trough of low pressure here. You see these strong upper level winds and this dry air mass that we see through here. At the same time, Towards late afternoon, the leading edge of this frontal system pushes into Oregon, starts approaching Idaho. We'll watch it for overnight thunderstorms. Otherwise, fairly breezy today with winds gusting near 30 miles an hour here in the purple areas. Um, and also 20 to 30 we see these green to orange areas here. The humidity driest in the south, still near or above 20% thanks to the smoke shield um, in the north. Now for tomorrow, this is a late morning map and you see the, the, the tail end of this front hitting parts of Idaho. We have high risk for lightning through here. Um, this is where probably the best chance of lightning strikes will occur. At the same time, windy conditions, again, down south with low humidity and that dry air mass. And you see the winds and even after the lightning, will, um, that lightning will occur probably from midnight till noon. By late afternoon, the winds will start mixing down. We'll have to watch that. The humidity does come up a little bit, so that is good news, but still dry down south. And here's the precipitation extent on one of our models. Uh, low end wetting rains with these green areas, maybe a tenth or a quarter of an inch. Um, but not all areas will, will see that, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. And there are the winds down south. And then high pressure builds in, lighter winds, about warmer temperatures, drier conditions across the whole region. We see humidity is coming down, the winds fairly light. Three day precipitation totals. This is that lightning event overnight tonight to tomorrow we see up here. Otherwise, not much monsoon anywhere near us. And then high pressure ridge builds back in. So again, seasonably warm for the end of July or early August. And uh, there'll be a little chunk of monsoonal moisture breaking off. Uh, on Friday, we see a tropical system down south that's robbing the monsoon of moisture. So you see down here in Arizona and in Mexico, dry air mass down there. Um, there'll be a weak disturbance, maybe some lightning in eastern Utah late in the period next weekend. Um, maybe some lightning in northern California. We'll have to watch some of that. Otherwise, um, high pressure starts to break down Sunday. We start to see increasing winds off the Sierra front into Idaho. Seven-day precipitation totals, you see it through here. And the 8 to 14 day continues to show above normal temperatures. We'll see how this verifies on the above normal precipitation. The models have been on and off with this feature, so I wouldn't hang my hat on it just yet. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day.